All right, we are ready for descriptive statistics. Um, so the goal of this video is to show you how to do descriptive statistics for the demographic variables, but this will apply to any variables that you wanna analyze individually. Um, the nice thing about the inferential tests in Jamovi and in other programs is that you can typically just add on descriptives for that analysis. So you're really just gonna to have to do the demographics separately. So to do your demographic analysis, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to, oops, I noticed that this did not get fixed. I'm just gonna change this to nominal. So it's always good to just keep an eye on your variables and make sure they're set up correctly. I must not have saved this, bad me. All right, so I'm gonna to go to analyses, exploration, and I'm gonna to go to descriptives. And you've practiced this a few times, but the key here is that you're paying attention to the type of variable. First, I'm going to do gender. I'm going to move that into the variables box. And then because gender is categorical, I want to do any other categorical demographic variables at the same time. Age is not categorical. It is continuous. So I'm not going to use that. And then race ethnicity is. So I'm going to move that over. If I had a lot of responses in the gender other or the race ethnicity other, I could do something with them too, but I don't. Um, so because these are categorical, you should look at this output and say, oh, a mean of gender is 1.76. That doesn't make any sense. And race ethnicity is 4.96. That's useless. So what you need to do is you're going to create frequency tables. So click there. That looks better. Now we have some counts for gender and for race ethnicity. That's way better. And because we selected the 4DP, it gives you these two numbers after the decimal for the percentage because it treats it as a decimal, as a proportion. So that's why I wanted you to do the 4DP. It'll make your life easier. So you need to use APA. Um, your percentages will have two numbers after the decimal. Uh, so now I'm going to click on statistics, this little sub menu right here. And there's a couple different things I need to do. First, uh, we are not going to measure central tendency because we have the percentages and the frequencies. We're not, we don't need more than that. And then for dispersion, we don't need standard deviation, minimum or maximum, because those aren't appropriate for this type of data. So all you're going to have selected is the sample size information and then the frequency tables. So that way you can say, oh, there's 124 people who respond to the gender question. One person didn't. And then the race ethnicity is 125 people responded and there were zero missing. And then you can look through them and see each of these individual responses. Um, so we can see that there were 36 men, 83 women, four people identified as non-binary or third gender, and there was one person who identified as other. And then you would report the counts as the N, the sample size, and then the percent of total in your APA style report. Um, the cumulative you're typically not typically not going to use unless you have uh, a table in your in your results, which you do not for this study. All right. Next up, click out anywhere, and we're going to do a new analysis. So I'm going to go back to descriptives. If you don't click out, it's just going to change your existing analysis. Um, so I'm going I clicked out so that I could do a new one. So exploration descriptives, and I'm going to do age. So age is continuous. We are not going to get the frequency of it. If we did that, if I clicked frequency table, oh, it's not behaving. It's not even giving me the frequency table. Well, that's good. So we're gonna, we're, we would not want to just sit and report all the frequencies of age. That would just be pointless. Um, so this information is what we're looking for. Uh, we can see that there were 124 people who responded to the age question. There was one that uh, did not respond, that did not get filtered out. And then we can see that the mean is 25.40, just rounding up to two decimals. Uh, the median is 22. So we have a little bit of a positive skew there. Standard deviation is 10.06, and it also gives us the minimum and maximum. So our ages range from 18 to 75. So this is 
information that we would want to report in our um, APA style report as well. And this is for continuous variables. So I wouldn't need to change anything here. I could add additional measures, but this is really what I'm looking for. When you're done with this, I do recommend that you just go ahead and go to um, export and then you can save. So you can just do export and save descriptive statistics. It's gonna export it as a PDF and then you can print it and bring it out to lecture with you.